And this commercial is sponsored by Rosecraft. Rosecraft knives. You'll love your rose. And cut. And <laughs> just kidding. Or whatever. I I mean I got a I saw Rosecraft at Atlanta Blade Show. How could you miss them? I mean, how could you miss them? This is the Pocket Monster, by the way, which is a swags design. Swag. And of course, you know, she did the Mylea and the Sway back Sway back what for Kaiser, Mylea for CJRB. And she's done some other things as well. Okay. Uh, but, and I like her design language. I think it's cool. Okay, so th that's great. So Rosecraft, they just were there. And I go, I don't know anything about these people. And you go to the pit after, you know, spending 20 minutes at the show because you're going to start drinking. Because hell with the show. Time to go drink some beer. Um, <laughs> oh, man, my undoing. Okay, so, and... Uh, so you had all the people like Neves Knives and Super Steel Steve and insane people, but you had like Ostapel and you know I'm designers and people who just in in you know it's crazy. So uh, Kombu was there as well, who does a bunch of knives for Best Tech. So let's get past that. Rose Crab. So they had a booth there, but you go to the pit. What I was gonna say, you go to the pit and there's. Banners all over the pit, around the hotel thing, right? Rosecraft, Rosecraft, Rosecraft. There's the coasters, Rose, Rosecraft, this, 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 Rosecraft. And I'll go, who the hell? And they had a booth, a reasonably decent sized booth at Blade. And I walk up and they've got all these different knives sitting there. And I'm going, okay, I don't know anything about them. But there were so many people around it. It was like, you know, I wanted to go up and talk to the guy and maybe do a video or something so I could post it for you guys, you know, for those people who didn't get to go to Blade and might enjoy seeing that. And I ended up on my last day there of actually being able to do that. And that was very nice of them. And then when these actually came out, because the ones at Atlanta you couldn't buy and they weren't out yet. Okay. But, oh, and cut the thumb off. Nope, not yet. Okay, let's try that again. And attempt number two to cut the thumb off. No. Unsuccessful. Unsuccess oh, tried. Mm, nope, didn't get it done. N front flipper. This one guy, I posted this. This one guy goes, uh, for those people who want plenty of room for their hand and not much cutting edge. I get you. I get you. And another guy goes, mm, kind of a reconstitution of the Mylea. Um, is that a bad thing? Um, no. Uh, and, of course... Same designer, so of course it's in their design language, and yes, this is kind of an interesting knife, and you can get it in red, and it's pretty cool. And you know what? Really, when you think about it, for most of your cutting tasks, how much blade do you need? How much do you need? You don't know. Little Johnny in the back, no. You don't need eight inches cutting length on a knife. <laughs> what are you cutting? Um, but yes, I get it, but this is interesting and yeah, it kind of hit me funny too, because it's, you know, got that turtleneck sweater up there. You can get that. Oh, there's a, a lot of neck. Okay. But yes, on the other hand, kind of a lot of charm to this knife and these knives from Rosecraft are not expensive. I didn't see anything over what 60 something dollars or whatever. So uh, and then I heard, heard that, you know, maybe uh, Artisan was the OEM on these because, well, this is AR RPM 9. And of course, on their website, they also sell the CJRB Mylea. Okay. And so I'm thinking Artisan is the OEM on them. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't care. Um, this is the Pocket Monster because nowhere on here do they tell you what the hell this is. Nowhere on this box. So I just got out my magic marker and said to hell with it, okay? And they say Sully on this thing and I don't know what the hell they mean by that. And I'll show you the paperwork if I can dig it out here because it's 
Okay, so Sully, I told you, is not Sully Sullenberger, <laughs> whatever. Miracle on the Hudson. No, but I mean, um, front flipper, ceramic bearings. So this does sound a lot like CJRB, doesn't it? And ARPM9, okay? So ambidextrous, uh, neon purple. Swag, 6.6 .6 overall. Uh, anything else you want to know? RPM9s. They they've knocked off the AR. That's so redundant. That's so 2021. So 2.75 inch uh, blade length, okay? Now, so I was looking at their stuff and when I ordered, I mean, I, I contacted them saying, do you remember me? I'm that freak that came to your booth, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, they said, I will give you a discount uh, for up to five knives and then you're done. So I, I did buy these at a discount. And what was nice is that um, they threw in, you know, some of these and I got these. Uh, and on the front is this, okay, of the koozie. And on the back is that, right? Right? So I thought, okay, they're definitely into the swag. Or <laughs> swag? Swags? No, I mean the swag stuff we all get um i like it though so i'll probably put some of this in my upcoming giveaway including maybe several of these knives uh my 30k giveaway so this is interesting ar rpm 9 which is like an enhanced crucible powder metallurgy of 9 cr18 so you got a lot of chromium it's very corrosion resistant uh, should be good grain refinement or whatever distribution of, of the elements throughout there since it's a powdered metallurgy. Stone wash blade. Will it cut anything? Hell, I don't know. Do I have a piece of paper anywhere? It's possible. And yes, I do. Whoa. You know, for the part that's the edge, the edge is really sharp. Check this choil out. Can't cut a damn thing. But the edge... Pretty good. So, in that case, you won't cut your finger while you're going for the rest. That That's kind of cool, though. But, yeah, 6.6 .6 inches. And now I've got everything swagged up. Okay, so now you, you see the Rosecraft name? We got that there. Um, what a guy will do for a discount. And it's centered... I just thought these were interesting because they're budget knives. It's a different brand. It's new. And it might be something that you're interested in. I like this blue with the purple. I think it's cool. It's just like a little bit pimp daddy. Deep carry pocket clip right hand or left hand. Okay. And it's a small knife. It's not that heavy. Let's throw this out. And then I'm going to pull some of the other models that I've got out because I did. I took him up on all five models and go, you're going to be give me a discount on five? I'm going to get five, okay? Not six. I'm getting five. 107. Um, kick it. And let's go back to 3.8 ounces. Is that super light, really, for a 6.6 .6 ounce knife? It could be 2.8 ounces. So it's, it's you know, it's it's got some heft to it actually but 2.75 inch blade is correct at like 70 millimeters and 6.6 mm, .6, yeah around that overall length at just shy of 17 centimeters and if i had my caliper out here i'd tell you oh no it's buried under the under the rosecraft swag here um 0.45 of an inch, 11.7 millimeters for handle thickness, 2.5 millimeter at 0.1 of an inch for blade stock. So, like I said, ambidextrous thumb studs, front flipper, left and right carry. So, really, the only thing that's right hand favor is the lock bar because it's a liner lock and it favors right hand operation. And that's 50% lockup, isn't it? And big cutaway here makes it easy to disengage. And there she drops, right? 
pretty good little drop on it, okay? So this is the Pocket Monster. Uh, blade to handle length, uh, I don't know. I think he could have stuffed another 16th in there. I don't know, yeah. I mean, to me. And then, you know, design flow, well, it's, you know, yes, this. And, of course, this is because it's got to be because it's a front flipper. Now, the Barra, and see, I wrote the, didn't I write the pricing on here? Yeah, $53.99 without your discount. Without your discount. Barra, $59.99. Maybe I had an email saying, you got LTK uh, discount code for my viewers? $59.99. And this is this crazy thing. One of the guys that I messaged back and forth on Instagram, he says, I took that off. He took this off the end. So, okay. Um, this is interesting because this is really a real great design as far as usability, maybe without that. You know, and it's not very expensive either. And I think this is also AR RPM 9. But then again, uh, you need a pry bar, a screwdriver, wrench, or uh bottle opener left and right hand so you got the bar because if you're at a bar uh this might come in handy now see how clever was that and alenta really inexpensive i think this one was even less oh damn i didn't write the price down damn but uh this was even less expensive i believe no, it's not. Um, $61.99. Okay. Uh, I guess I was thinking about another. They had another knife that I didn't buy that was very in, in, inexpensive. But uh, this is not the one. Chase Snyder design on this one. Alenta. Okay. Cool. Huh? Okay. That looks bigger, doesn't it? And then get ready because here it comes. Here it comes. Chonking on in here. It's the little chonk. Now, this is like my favorite one from Rosecraft. Okay. The little chonk. And this is it in aluminum or aluminum, as we like to say over in the aisles. So, and this is, um, oh God. Uh, Harper Rosecraft, what's that? It's uh, Hawkins Rose. Hawkins Rose, Hawkins Rose. I'm sorry, Harper Rosecraft. Hawkins Rose. Yeah, okay, there goes my discount for the future. Hawkins Rose, sorry, sorry. Um, this is way cool. I just like this. Now, I'm waiting for the big chonk to come out. Oh, baby, and this is not lightweight. Not lightweight at all. So check those out. Okay, let's get them all out of here. Get out of here. We're going to talk about the little chunk another time so we can get maximum maximum content for my channel for the money I just spent. So we're going to talk about the AR RPM 9 Mystery Little Pocket Monster. And it's not the little pocket monster, it's a pocket monster, but I think it's a little. But it's, uh, it's cool. It's probably... This and the little chunk, I think, are the most fascinating designs so far. The Barra is kind of cool as well. Actually, in hand and using is, is kind of cool. Uh, but this one, yes. Ergos, much better like this. Otherwise, it could be a three-finger knife, right? I mean, that, there's not a lot. There's not a lot on the handle. This is playing back up here. So this is a little tough. Uh, this is way better. This is way better. This is probably the way it really needs to be handled here. And there's good purchase on here with this G10, the texturing and everything on that. Well, let's get our disaster towel out here and let's uh, let's tore it apart. Let's. Which side can we tore it apart from? I guess we can tore it apart from this side. And I don't know if we got, we got number eights through here. Nah, they're number sixes. Where's my other driver here? 
Oh, over here. Let's get this put away before I stab myself accidentally with one of the other rose crasp knives. Ooh, baby. You're going to come out, so you might as well make up your mind. And you too, buddy. Push and turn, push and turn. Ooh, you don't want to, do you? And you're going to be a real bitch, aren't you? Because I got it turning on both sides. Okay, click it or tick it. Let's do this then. If you want to you wanna play tough guy games with me. Yeah. You lose. You lose. Okay, so I already got you on this side, haven't I? I knew you were coming out. Get out of here. Yeah, there you go. I knew you were coming out one way or the other. Come on. Now, let's open you up. Let's get you off of here. And there's the liner, and there's no skeletonized liner there. And this is not exactly a super lightweight for the size, so I'm kind of surprised. So that liner, mm, it's, uh, it's not skeletonized, and it probably should be because um, it's not nested, and it's fairly thick, and the knife itself is not that lightweight overall. There's your bearings, little, little teeny ceramic bearings, so they are ceramic as stated, and there's your stop there which goes into there and what is this all about oh and this is hold on no and this is the lock bar side and so it came off from the front hold on and let me see yeah we got a flat spot on the pivot right there and so goes through this flat spot right there I don't know if we got a flat. No, we don't on that side. Okay, so that's from that side. That's the only way we're leaving. I see there, and that may have been done for the lock bar action here. Ceramic detent ball, though. Other than that, not a whole lot of mystery there. The little pocket monster. $53.99, so they're not terribly expensive. They got ceramic bearings, liner locks, swags design. Um, check them out online. Beg them for some swag. And I'll be giving some of it uh, away on my upcoming 30K giveaway. So have no fear. But yes, Rosecraft is here. We love those knives. You guys, stay sharp.